Hello for here to Hane de Valatality to Pigalate. We have a good evening in any bulletin for tonight. Follow the Hito Mamang Hito Tangata Gilate, Mido Fahi, Pufuang Tengwe, Hiki Kiang Mutung, Sprep assist with a stakeholder consultation and training for new MX service staff. Kaflata Hai Fahi Pupi Moko, Kito Fakwang, Hito Pepa Fata, Mido Puroa Gatatu, Jim Silani. The Ministry of Primary Industries ordered new as prime team biosecurity system. Go away of all wrong of going anywhere, near from the first way in the code of missing. Go anywhere app officially launched. With a hawkway follower, though, Kakwang, Hefahi, Fufuang, Matangi, with a pullot in a hawkway, he got a sprep, get far too tall like them the kupu. Fofang Matangi, Moito Hiki Kiang Matangi. When you wait, Tahamay Hong Fulu Mafia to Moti Pacific and Niko Kavra Tahai, Kitaha for Rang for Hingway Cospec, Square Hua, Nepo Fornway, Kefaleta for Porcia, Kefar Mama, Keke Hito for Fang Tangi, Moi Hiki Kiang Matangi, Nenaka Mahino Mitaki Kefalu Tangata. Hamotor of Kakwanga Ki Kamata, Efra Mamanga Tokakano Kiki. Hakoe Mahuinga Lahi ke loa he to tangata e e to kakano ke ke he hakoe ke ke to fkaqua e to fkaongang he to kupuni si tunga nae muni ku lahi e to fatu talanga ke hiki ke anga matangi si nakai mitaki ke tunga pe ke fehiki a ke to mamanga e ke to fkaongang he to kupu kakano ni ni ke ai hakoe to fkaongang a si Nakai haku fuki eto to hala ke mama to tuhu to kakano hoya kai kise motoru ke haho ua lahi e mahuinga he to fakakwanga ne fakise motoru ke ai pia fuki ni ke hama tolo to puhala nga hua ke lote ofisa moito manatu mai he to tangata ne falataha tu ke ai if you feel a lot of hakwa, make a lot of the law to keke hang at the kupuya. Taha need of kakwang and nekua lata made of my long hang at the kupunik of kaunga, it of fine hua. Kahaye fukini followed on one wang kimua. Que on one wang a motor kimua, my he fatu talanga ya, buke of kakwanga ya. Ke dose motor taha matakoni frangway, que climate science group. Mai he faku talanga ia ke mai ke ke lang matai mui omui ki mua fagalolohi to mamanga ke fahi climate ke lata mui to fahi nga hua fuktu fono private sector fukini ke to communities puke to tangata he ilota he manga ke mai ke yaloturu ke fukaonga famita ke to fukai loanga ne fai faga iloi maturu he fahi nga hua ke lata me halaturu to tungi to project proposals. Tunggalnya kita mahu di ni ilolol lah itu turu e mana nengok aku e Green Climate Fund, mai kia itu tangata e atau tulung mutu ke kumitu pia, ke lang matai mui fakangan ngabi tu ke halau tu lalu temu mui aku e hiki kia ngabi tu. Aye taf ka aku ang fuki malu turu tau tangata ngahu e fahe fufang tengi ne ku fahok kui ke uah ke fahalu lah e fuki halau turu tau lalu matala mui tau ngahu ne ku tau seh matu tangata. Koe hamotolo to tanga tanga hua ke mau ni frapi frata ha e frakwanga kalau lahi ya ke lata mui mui mutu si koe to ue aho aho lutu mui aho to loto ni tau si ya to frakwanga ke lata ni mui to tanga tanga hua he fai ngahua hahai ya e e to frakwanga hamotolo mui Kau hebat pak mau tuh nafas tuh fakih itu waktu mahin nanti kita hasil kaki si mai lot apa apa ya di fufuang heu ha tul mahin lagi mua si mai ke itu tengah tu ke fkau ngai tu fufuang ngai ya ke palan lagi mua ke lat mahal tu lah tu ngah hua ke ke he si kau fakih tu lama ke lah tu lah tu mama ngai ke he fakih lah ngai ya buki tulia ni fakih ngai ke scopek Ni fakang yang betul ke fai ngahua, ke mai ke lo turu ke fakhor ke mua itu puhala ke fakamama fakalo lahi ke lata mua itu tangata. Kau lata he tala hau we lo turu ke fakamama itu kupu ke 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 fakanga, mua itu kakano ke tahe mamang mua hakufu kita puhala di kufakanga. 
The Pacific region is well aware of the impacts of climate change, which has been a major topic for discussion internationally. Niue is one of 14 Pacific Island countries that are part of the Secretary of the Pacific Regional Environment Program, COSPEC program. On Tuesday this week, key stakeholders were part of a consultation at the Niue Golf and Sports Club that was coordinated by the Niue Meteorological Service and facilitated by SPREP. We spoke with a representative from SPREP to find out more about the work that SPREP does and the consultation that was held on island. My work at SPREP is basically a climatologist that's looking up the uh, you know, climate-related activities within SPREP. You know, SPREP is a regional organization that's responsible for environment across the Pacific. And coming, my coming into new ways to uh, come and conduct the training for the stakeholders. And that's basically uh, going back to Climate 101, teaching about basics of climate, what's weather and climate, what's climate variability, what's climate change. Why we do this is because, uh, you know, sometimes for us communities, we, we are sometimes confused with these terms. So it's really good to come back to the communities and differentiate between those terms. So as we go back, especially with the med service, as we engage with the people, the communities, we better understand those terms and don't, we don't confuse the community. So that's what takes me in and, and what we're doing now and yesterday is running training, especially for seasonal forecast using climate uh, forecasting tools. So we are training climate staff in new med service to build a capacity to how to use those tools to do rainfall forecasting for new ways. So they have to upgrade their skills, uh, upgrade their knowledge on how, how to use those tools. So yeah, basically it's been it's been a fantastic week for us. Uh, we have a good turnout for the stakeholders workshop, and now we have we're engaging with the staff here for the training as well. New Emit Service provide weather and climate information through bulletins, but it was also a good opportunity to get feedback on those products to find ways for improvement. The COSPEC program helps stakeholders to analyze and interpret climate, oceans and tidal data to produce valuable services for island communities. The reaction from the people is the same with other people in the Pacific, communities in the Pacific, confusion between weather and climate, you know, uh, the changes now we see on a daily basis is climate change, but uh, look, this is not a case. Weather is different from climate, it's different from, from climate change. So what we have done so far with this community in new way, uh, it's really a good thing because they better understand those. And the reaction is, I'm not surprised because it's the same with other Pacific Island countries as well. So they, they after the training on, Mon uh, on Tuesday, they came out knowing that, oh, this is weather related events, this is climate variability, this is climate change. So they throw the lines between those different terms. According to the new Meteorological Services Director, Rosalind Misiepo, they have also set up a climate science group to create awareness. This has also been an opportunity for capacity building for staff as well. One part of the training for, for the stakeholders is reviewing better products for, for new Met service and one in particular is looking at a climate bulletin which is disseminated on a monthly basis to stakeholders. So what we're doing is we're getting the fuse back on the product for new Met service and what we're doing is prep will help New Met Service to further redesign the product, uh, especially the climate bulletin, and add some additions to the text as well as the maps, depending on, on, on the likes of the communities and the stakeholders. So there's a follow-up on this training as well. And we will continue to engage with New Met Service staff, especially the climate officers, to build the capacity on, on the different tools that we're giving them. This information helps communities to prepare for mitigation impacts of severe climate tidal and oceanographic events. Tāhe whakākua ngai whāhi pui pui moku ni kwa kawhu atahiki ai he mga hunei mwe tau hukui mwe taha hukui mai he whāhi Ministry of Primary Industries and New Zealand ni ke kisa kis whakumaku tu atu ai ke follow tau kuhala ngā hua pui pui moku mwa atu ke lāta me te kohan ku tau ko loa ni kwa whafan wa atu ai ki New Zealand ni. Nā kai fō we tau whakatu talaanga pehe nei ha koe tau whakawhetu ya ngā haniwe mo New Zealand ni Ni kwa whamuli e ke tau tau taki taha, ke lāta e mwe tau langata ianga. Whakatu tālu moe e uunga hua e whaenga hua whanua, ko poe o ke sene ke whakalau lahi mai e ia, e tau tau hau anga hangau ia ke he tau whakakua anga nei. Koe whakakua anga nei, ke whakakua whuki e tau whisa hama tōli ngā hua. Anō anō, a fōu whuki e tau whānau ni ko ngā hua ke mao nei. 
ki loa fui lo tulo lo tulo tau mo te foto fono ni nga hua hi fui lo tulo ye ka ma ma lo tulo ha lo tulo a fa ta kanga hi fui mo te foto fono ki nga hua ki pui pui anga to moko ki utanga to koloa ki mo te ni silen si ma ma fui ki to tangata ni tatu to koloa ka ko lo lo he to koloa ni na kai ma ki ki tatu ki mo te ni silen ko vala ye fui mo te ha ki la la di ki nga hua loa mo te tangata ki fa ma ma Haye to kolo ane na kai mai ki kita tu, haye to kolo ane ko lata ki tu ko bilo to he pepa fakata, kita tu ko mo tu ko musilan, haye ma to fakata fono, ni nga hua ma to ruke, si ka pehe nono ke ma himo ke si be to kolo, ha ka taha nono anga lahi foki he mo tu ko musilan, ka mo wo e ko he pepa fakata anga ko he fatu sana to certificate ke ta tu to kolo ke mo tu ko musilan. Kau saya ini dia kau equipment aja, kita kita semua kau ke sini semua tu kalau tu tu hari kau pep. Kita fokus fokus he follow atau tengah tengah hua, kalau tak fokus dia lihat from mana tu hari itu mata from phone untuk kau hua, mai mui tu kiai. Aha, dia fokus itu mazhi yang ni from mula ni wes kalau tak from mama from Turkey, mai kumi kumi fokus itu kalang hua. Tu mai orang orang aja he agreement. Bilateral agreement mahu membuat tu kau nusilan, mahu mata fatu fono foki, kau latte ke sib, itu kau lah. Tunggu ni hebat tu turu hebat tu kau nusilan. Allah lah hebat mahu dengan kafe mana kau tupu kafe moko kau mahu mahu hebat ko. Aidi yang ham tak kita kau kisi yang mahu hebat he NCMP yang hebat tu nusilan. Kau di tahu sih kau yang hua he hebat yang fono apa ibu bapa kau ni kau latte lalu turu di tahu sih. So kita ha Ono ono anga fuki he fa kwa ngani ki mai ki he to ofisa ki mo he to puhala ki fa ham te ki he to puhala ngani ma ono mai fuki na nusil ha mai fa la na ki lo toru ki he ki fa ngofu nu tau si fa ngofu nu la toru ngahua fa tu ta lo fuki ma toru ngai ki he ma na nei me ha ia ngai puhala ki tau si ki aya ki aya ma na ki ngai he to tanga to mai Uho kalau tu, lalu malam lalu tuang kami, kami pih kuha, kau tahu sih pih, mahu ni, kai dengan latih malu tu, kau faham ngah hok hak yang nono, hafi kau latih tu, nu, mahu ni, hewa tu kimu, kau mek itu tengah tu, kau melong, kau luar fuk lalu tu, kau mata fuk tu fon, hari kau tu hingga pepa ni tahu tu, kau keluar kau hingga mudah nusilan, kau fita ni tu kau hingga mata fuk tu fon fuk. Kui ofisa ni ngahua kui faham fonua kui kantin kui kui alat kui sibi mua to koloa to make kui tuhi ya kui to koloa kui alat. Mahuinga kui tatai to mama ngah to faham niwa kui awan kui taufi pake uke to puhal kui fakafan to koloa niwe kui misilani. Niwe quarantine staff are being audited by the New Zealand Ministry of Primary Industries, focusing on the phytosanitary certification systems. This is an opportunity to improve and strengthen the island's biosecurity export systems. We have a bilateral quarantine arrangement uh, in place uh, between the two countries, and uh, we uh, they have, we've had issues with regards to produce coming from from Niue, and uh, as part of our uh, bilateral arrangements, uh, we've agreed for an audit to to be carried out. And uh, part of the audit is to also identify uh, gaps in uh, the system uh, within the U.S. photosanitary certification system that could be improved. Uh, as we have, uh, uh, th there have been market access requests for new um, uh, fresh produce from from New A requested to MPI, and it is important from MPI's perspective that. Uh, that for, for that to happen, we need to have that confidence that Niue is in a uh, position to manage uh, the, the export of those commodities uh, uh, effectively so that we can uh, allow and facilitate uh, safe uh, trade to, to happen with regards to those uh, fresh produce. Eh? There has been a positive level of engagement with commitment shown not only by the Department of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries Management, but also quarantine staff who have been fully engaged in the two-day workshop. I'm, I'm really happy with uh, the contributions and what we've covered uh, so far, and we can only wish them the best from here in terms of whatever we will be identifying from the audits. 
and uh, how they will be corrected so that uh, Niue can uh, eventually get to a point where they can be confident themselves with their system uh, and then MPI has confidence in the system as well so that we can allow for that safe uh, trade to, 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 to happen between the two countries. According to the representative from MPI, they will continue to support and the outcomes of the audit will work with DAF to build confidence in how they manage their export systems. This visit is also supported by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade and that is a testament to New Zealand's ongoing support to Niue despite the low levels of trade. Niue Chamber of Commerce has officially launched the Go Niue app today after six months of working with app designers and the business community. Niue Chamber of Commerce says they wanted to create a cost-effective way of sharing up-to-date information about their members, businesses and the digital app has provided an opportunity for that. This is just the start and there are some additional features that they expect to add on in the future. The Niue Chamber of Commerce and Niue Tourism launched the Go Niue app to travel and tourism operators in New Zealand and media in Auckland earlier this week and this will be a great tool for them to sell Niue to prospective visitors. No, the app is free, so it's free for businesses that want to list and within the app. Uh, they can just contact the Chamber of Commerce and also it's free to download. So you can use the app while it's offline as well. Um, there's some features that won't work that connect to outside sources. But of course, uh, we've got 4G coming very shortly. Uh, so we'll be a lot more connected. And then um, some of the special features within the app um, that connect to outside um, that need data can be, can be used all of the time. Ray says that the initial feedback has been excellent, particularly about how user-friendly the app is, and best of all, they are able to update it in-house. The information in there has got all of the accommodation, so people that have either booked their flights or looking at coming to Noe can um, download the app, they can have a look at the accommodation options that are available, they can contact um, those properties directly uh, via phone or email from the app. There's cafes and restaurants, bars, there's the services, there's information you can uh, get live, you can get weather updates, the tide charts, uh, we've really looked at what everybody asks when they come to Noe. Um, some of the information um, is from the, the tourist booklet, so that of course saves Noe Tourism having to print you know, 10,000 of those booklets each year. They'll need a much smaller quantity um, because the app has, um, co covers all of the information that was in there, plus more. Um, so it's got direct link if you want to book flights, it's got the direct link to the Air New Zealand uh, to book flights to Noe, uh, there's an events calendar in there and the great thing is um, as opposed to a printed brochure is that we can update it here 
So it's always up to date. So as the seasons change uh, and businesses change their hours or their offerings to visitors or locals, uh, they can um, let the chamber know and we can update the app. So then every time you refresh, uh, it is updated. The chamber also has a number of promotional activities that they will be rolling out. We will have signage going up um, around the island. Um, we've got activities happening. Um, the primary school is a lot of children went off to school this morning wearing orange. Um, we're going to talk to the high school next week um, about the app and also what was involved in making the, the app. So it fits into their careers program for them to actually see what goes on behind the scenes and actually how many different skill sets and um, career options there are in just creating something like a dig digital app. Um, and then we've got a series of Appy Hour events uh, which will take place um, from the 21st uh, uh, and 22nd of June and 28th and 29th of June and people can just go to the Nui Chamber of Commerce Facebook page um, to see information of where, where those Happy Hour events are happening and um, they should come along with the app downloaded and wear orange and there's some really good prizes uh, to be won to support the Go Nui app. The app development will significantly reduce the amount of brochures that need to be printed and for visitors on arrival they are able to download the app at the baggage claim area at the airport for free with the Wi-Fi available if they haven't downloaded it before coming to Nui. And those are our news stories that we have for you this evening. Do join us again for our next news bulletin next week. Don't forget, Hakupu Show Day is on this coming weekend.